In this video, we will go over Google Cloud Platform's firewall. We go to VPC, firewall, and we will notice that in our default VPC, we have four default rules. These are for ICMP, RDP, and SSH. There is also one rule for all internal communication. And these have a priority of 65,534 and access from anywhere. The higher the number, the lower the priority. So if we want to create a new firewall rule, we have to be alert to its priority. And in this demo, you will see that. So let's create this firewall rule. We will name it something that reminds us of its purpose. And this is very good because it has certain gotchas that you have to be aware of. So let's call this ICMP higher priority. And by default, all firewall rules are created with the priority of 1000. So any firewall rule that you create will always have a higher priority than the default rules. And it's good to check it. It's nice that Google gives us this uh, link that we could click on it to see what we actually have. And that way we don't make a mistake. So let's permit or let's deny, I should say, ICMP. And we want all instances in the network to block ICMP from anywhere. And here we specify the protocol. We have to write it out, as you already know. And we create this rule. So now you will see that we have two ICMP rules. Same protocol, different action. Once a deny, once an allow. Different priority. Once 1,000, one is 65,534. So now let's create a compute engine instance and we give it all the defaults. We just select the smaller one so that we don't incur any costs. This is good for you if you're labbing. Many times I have forgotten to delete these VMs and then I incur certain costs that I didn't want. But here we go. We have our IP address. Let's open up a command prompt. I'm using a Windows machine. So we could use a ping minus T and we try to ping the external IP address. And as you could see, we have timed out. And that is the effect we want. We don't want ICMP on the network. We don't want ICMP from anywhere. We just want to block it. So even though there's an allow statement, the priority is too high the number is too high so it's a lower priority and that's why pings will not go through but we could change this to demonstrate that this is the rule that is in effect so one thing that we can do we can come to the rule we can edit this and disable this rule Now that we disable it, it takes a couple seconds and then you will see that pings start going through. And this is the results that we want because it is now disabled. The rule that's being matched is the one that was there by default. Please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And as you can see in real time, we enable it again. It might take a couple seconds, but eventually ping start timing out. And this is good practice for you. If you're ever working with firewall rules, enable this ping, a ping minus T continuous ping in Linux it'll it'll always be continuous pings but in Windows you have to specify ping minus T 
So now let's create another firewall rule. Let's suppose that we just want this one to be the same. So we will put the same priority, which is 1000. But now this will be an allow statement for all instances on the network with the source range of anywhere on the internet. What do you think will happen with this rule? Because it's the same priority, but it has a different action. What do you think will happen? You could pause the video and think about it. So here we see that ICMP, now we have three rules. There's an ICMP deny 1000, ICMP allow 1000, ICMP allow 65,534. Did you notice that? That even though I created the allow statement just now, it put it in second place? And that's the result. We keep timing out, ICMPs are blocked. And it's interesting that it does this. Maybe it's because this rule was already in place. But now let's take this ICMP rule and let's change it. Let's give it a higher priority by lowering the number. Just one digit. 999. And we save it. What will be the result of this firewall rule? And as we see, once it kicks in, ICMPs or pings are allowed. This goes to show that we have to be careful of the rules that we permit. A firewall is supposed to block those that should not have access and allow those that should. Most importantly, please test this in a lab environment and not production. So takeaways from this lesson, lower number equal higher priority. Be careful, deny and permit statements and always always test your rules in a lab environment if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i will make more videos for you <laughs>